Hello Collective. Welcome back to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Anetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of Divine Masculine in the karmic. Okay, we're just going to see what's going on with them right now, or whenever you click on this video. Please keep in mind that these messages are timeless, the energies are fluid, and the messages are general. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's tap right on into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about the leading energies of Divine Masculine towards the Karmic? What are the leading energies of Divine Masculine towards the Karmic here? All right, that feels good. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energies of the Divine Masculine towards the Karmic in this connection? What are the leading energies of Divine Masculine towards the Karmic in this connection? Please and thank you, my love. Okay. Ooh. It's feeling blocked. I heard have no feelings. Okay. But can you pop one out so we can get this reading going, Holy Spirit? That one? Okay. Rest and rejuvenation. What did I tell you? Feeling blocked. Yeah, feeling detached from this karmic here. Yeah, want to take a break, want to take a rest, or recuperating is what I'm hearing. Okay. Manifesting peace. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? What are the leading energies of the divine, I mean, of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? Ooh, jump. This energy over here, jumpy. Okay, we have contract and thinking woman. Contract, thinking woman. This karmic <laughs> is reviewing everything that they have invested in this, into this connection here. <clears throat> reviewing contracts, agreements here. I heard thinking how to get back at this masculine. Okay, look. Man holding the coin at the bottom of the deck. This masculine could have money or be well established financially. Look, in deceit. I can't make this shit up. And attachment is here. Yeah, this karmic is looking back how to, looking into how to get back at this divine masculine. Could be trying to take his money. We'll see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the challenge in this connection? What is the challenge in this connection? This karma could be suing this masculine here. And mas this masculine don't get no fucks. This masculine has released this karma here. And that mature man is a challenge here. Mm-hmm. I heard this masculine has outsmarted this karma here. And it's a challenge for this karma here. <clears throat> this masculine is more mature, more established. Is more, I heard, humble than this karmic here. Unexpected income at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I told you, this karmic is trying to get this masculine's money. You have the, the yeah, just see, yeah. This masculine got some type of assets that this karmic want because this karmic is pissed that this masculine is not fucking with them. They want some get back. They want to get them pockets financially because they pissed. They thinking of a master plan is what I'm hearing. Thinking of how they could walk away with something from this connection here. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the advice for the Divine Masculine in this connection? What is the advice for the Divine Masculine in this connection, please? And thank you, my love. What is the advice for the Divine Masculine in this Thank you. Signs. I saw signs. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yeah, this masculine done retreated from this karmic because this masculine know that this karmic is a gold digger. This karmic is trying to dig up all, all up in them pockets here, okay? Like I said, this karmic could be trying to sue or try to extract money from this masculine here. This masculine is not stupid, but this masculine want to keep the peace because he want to exit gracefully. Mm, I heard gracefully. Just leave it alone. They don't even want to deal with this karmic here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for the karmic in this connection? What is the advice for the karmic in this connection? 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for the karmic in this connection, please? And thank you. Mm. Receiving. And it says, every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan to trust my inner guidance here. I heard taking back control. This this karmic needs to take back control of their life here because they're too intertwined with this masculine here because they want something from this masculine and, and, it, and it's abundance. It's money. Something of value here. This karmic also needs to receive the divine love that's within them that hey, they already been shown and told how much the divine loves them. And they need to take their focus off of this divine masculine, masculine and put it back on their self because that's where they're going to find God, the God within them, the God that they're searching for, the God that they made this masculine in their life. Booyah. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we got faith. It says, miraculously, amazingly, everything I need will come. Love is opening opening me up to receive beyond anything I could imagine. Yeah, both of them, both of them, both of them, both of them are doing that. Both of them are receiving. Ooh, 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 ooh. Both of them are getting a blessing from the Most High. Separately. This <clears throat> this karmic here feels as though it feels as though she is old. Something from this masculine here. But what this karmic is feeling that this masculine owe her is not his money or his love. This karmic needs to receive love of self. And this, and this karmic is looking for the masculine to receive that love that they need to find within themselves. This is what the karmic feel the masculine owes them, which is love. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, holy angels. This karmic could be pissed off the... Yeah, okay, I heard you. Thank you. This karmic is pissed off at the fact that this masculine is not giving love. So, since they're not giving love to this karmic, this karmic wants their money. It's either love or money with this karmic. And since this masculine is not giving up love, he got, they coughing up money. Or this, this karmic wants this masculine to pay for their time. Pay for their love. They want... They want money or love for this masculine. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Damn. Gold digger. This masculine got a gold digger. Digging for gold or digging for love. But this this karmic wants one of the two from this masculine. This masculine said, hell no, fuck now. He out. Rest in rejuvenation. Yeah. I'm cool on this karmic. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about this connection, please? And thank you. Well, can you tell me about this connection, please? Thank you. Here we have the world. This cycle is over. This is the first energy out. The world, it is over, baby. Why? Because there's new opportunities that's coming into this masculine. Or it could be this karmic, but it's making me feel like it's this masculine because this masculine is cool on this carpet. This mas masculine is going off the... Ugh. This masculine is going after other opportunities here. And then we have... The Ten of Pentacles. It could be something that's more solid. Something that's already established in this life. Something that is more um, financially stable and abundant for this masculine here. Mm -hmm. The opportunities are coming in. Because this cycle is closed with this karmic here. This, this, this masculine, there is no more. There's nothing else that can be done in this connection. That can be received from this connection. From this masculine, this masculine is done with this karmic. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and this karmic know it. What else can you tell me about the masculine? Uh, what else can you tell me about this connection? Excuse me. What else can you tell me about this connection dealing with the masculine and the karmic, please? Mm -hmm. mm. There's offers to travel here. This masculine can have an offer to travel towards something that is more financially solid. Uh, financially uh, conducive to him. Mm -hmm. Could be going back to 
an energy that he had established or a connection that he already established here. It's feeling like old love or somebody from the past that this masculine is going back to and closing this cycle out with this karmic. There's an opportunity to go back to something that was well established in the past here, yeah. Or they're looking at the future as to what it is that is going to bring them the stability and abundance in the future here. They're going after it. They're taking it off for, for more abundance. This could be a masculine too that is leading the karmic because they have um, career opportunities that is going to involve them separating or traveling here. Yeah. That could be, yeah. That's here for some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This masculine is very focused on his abundance. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what other messages do you have? Thank you. We have the Nine of Swords, or the Ten of Swords, excuse me. The Ten of Swords here. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you this cycle is closed out because there is a brand new opportunity and an offer here that is more abundant here, especially with this Ten of Pentacles. It's something that is long term, something that is solid and stable in this masculine's life that he is taking the opportunity to take action towards receiving or, or giving this offer. Okay, this cycle with this karmic was tumultuous. This is what I've heard yesterday. And this masculine is walking away, closing out painful cycles with this karmic and walking away emotionally from this karmic. Why? Because there is another offer and opportunity here that is coming together for this masculine here. Mm -hmm. This karmic knows it. This is why the karmic say, okay, if you ain't going to give me your love, then you're going to give me your money. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's change decks. Let's change decks. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me about this connection? Look, the strength and the death. When I cut the cards, the strength and the death. Neo energy, Scorpio energy is here. Mm-hmm. Damn, this is cutthroat. Yeah, this connection has been cut, and it has been cut at the throat here. Uh-huh. This, this divine masculine is cold and cutthroat towards this karmic here. This masculine made it very clear that he does not want anything else to do with this karmic here. And this karmic is pissed. So instead, this karmic is going to go after this money because this karmic can't receive their love. Okay, let's rock. What's this? See? See? Ten of wands. Shit just too hard. It could be a diff. It could be burdens that need to be closed out. Or it could be a burden closing out this cycle with this karmic here. And then we have the star energy, Aquarian energy. Ooh. Yeah. Putting down these burdens to go after their wishes and dreams and wish fulfillment here. We have the page of wands. Good news and good luck is here, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. And then we have the nine of cups. This is the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 This masculine out. This masculine is going towards love. This masculine is going towards where he know he's loved at. Mm-hmm. Healing is here. Healing from burdens is here. Yeah, this is why this masculine closed out this cycle because it was a bit too much dealing with this karmic here. This karmic was needy and was demanding here. Uh-huh, demanding of love or demanding of money. And this, this masculine said, hell no, nah, fuck no. Nah. Karmic, it's over. This karmic got dumped and got dumped badly and they pissed. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me about this connection with the karmic piece? Yeah, walking away emotionally. Yeah, because shit was just too hard. Shit was just, it's a whole lot of lies, backstabbing, manipulation that was in this connection here. Okay? Yeah, 10, 10, 10. It's over. 10, 10, 10 in the world? Shit. With the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles here? Shit. It's over. It's a wrap. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else, what else can you tell me? Let's get two more. Peace and thank you. What else can you tell me about this connection? That one? Okay, thank you. And the Eight of Pentacles is here. Putting in hard work and dedication into something new. You have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. This masculine is going after a new love here. It's on the move, moving towards new love that he want to put time, energy, and effort into. And it's not this karmic. It's not this karmic. Oh shit. Okay. No, we got we're not gonna take all of those, spirit. <laughs> we are not gonna take all of those. Let's just get one more, please. Damn, they all bullshit. Let's get one more. Let's see. Holy spirit, holy angels. 
What else can you tell me? I know that was a lot, babe, but that was a lot for me to read. I, I need one more. I know you got one more, and then we can get this message out. Ooh, three of swords. See what I'm saying? Heartbreak is here. Heartbreak for this karmic is here because this masking got a brand new opportunity. Stuck in thoughts here. Yeah. Plotting and planning is what I'm hearing. This is what this karmic is doing with this thinking woman here. Yeah, heartbroken. Heartbroken, why? Because this mask that has left emotionally. Gone out. This is why this big-ass world is in the first position here. Okay? Dropping them burdens of being in this relationship with this karmic, okay? Healing they self and going after their dreams and wishes here. Probably sending out a message. A good mm, message of good news is coming in. Yeah, this, okay. All right. Masculine, yeah, you want to, you, you want after. You letting it be known. I heard your spirit. You letting it be known that you over and out and that there's something else better outside of this connection here. This is why this karmic is heartbroken. Look, let me tell you, you have the world and the three of swords. You cannot tell me somebody is not grieving this loss of this connection here with the divine masculine here. This karmic is very heartbroken here. That's why they plotting and planning on how to get this masculine back because they broke their heart. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the world. Let's clarify the world, please. What can you tell me? Thank you. Six of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. This masculine, yeah, this masculine has been through the ringer with this karmic here. Trying to make things even. You know, this masculine wanted to give and receive with this karmic here. Okay? But there is, um, they, this, this masculine has been through a lot with this karmic. Okay? Trying to receive, trying to be in the energies of giving and receiving with this karmic, but it was just too much. It was a lot. The Nine of Wands is here. This is also to the karmic not wanting to let this masculine go. But this cycle is over here. I'm wanting to give and receive with this masculine here. Wanting something from this masculine here. Yeah, wanting to receive something from this masculine here. Receiving is here as the advice. But see, what, what, this, what this karmic is trying to receive from this masculine, this karmic needs to um, receive from the most high. But this karmic is lacking... And it's trying to look for in this masculine, this karmic needs to turn to self and look for the most high to be fulfilled. And whatever it is that they're lacking. Thinking woman too much in their head, trying to get some get back. She's bitter and shit. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What is the page of Pentacles, please? No, that's too many. Oh, okay, I see it. How many is this? Okay, we had a six of wands. And then we have the chariot. Successful movement forward here. Yeah. This is what this masculine is doing. This offer, this new offer had came into this masculine. An offer of an abundant life, a stable connection here. Um, something that is long term here. Something that could last through the ages of this lifetime here. Yeah. This is what this masculine is doing with this cancer energy. This um, chariot energy. Moving forward successfully towards something that is what? All satisfying is what I'm hearing. All satisfying. Yeah. 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 It's, it, this, this masculine is trying to be satisfied in all levels. In all levels of love is what I'm hearing. You know, want to have the stable home, the stable connection, the stable family, the stable relationship here. Something that is long term. Something that they can build on. Something that they can leave to their children. Okay. A solid foundation is here. This is what this masculine is going towards, and it's not with this karmic. Let's clarify the um, Ten of Pentacles, please. Yeah, you have three tens out here. Ten, 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 and the world. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Brighter days are ahead for this masculine because he closed the cycle out with this um, karmic here. Here we have Hangman Energy, Pisces Energy, and the Two of Wands. So this masculine has thought long and hard about the actions that they're going to take towards something that is more solid and something that is more uh, sustainable for them. This 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 masculine has thought long and hard about leaving his karmic behind before he made that decision to do so. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. He had to make sure that he didn't want this karmic no more. And he had, he don't. He out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Thank you. Look, the Five of Cups. There's a lot of loss here. Sadness and regret is here. He had the Three of um, uh, 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 Cups here. This masculine could be regretful at the fact that he even start fucking with this karmic. Yeah. Yeah, because there, it was it was just too much. It was it was too much. You have Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This is just too much mind games of fuckery here. Too much backstabbing. Okay, too much dishonesty is what I'm hearing. And he's sad and regretful that he even got with this karmic with this Five of Cups and this Page of Cups. And it's uh, Three of Cups, excuse me. The Five of Cups and the Three of Cups equals what? The Eight of Cups. Booyah. Next energy's out. Like I said, this is two through is what I heard. Damn. This masculine is two through. Okay, I'm telling you, this masculine here is over and out because this masculine has been hurt by this karmic here. Yeah, when you had an eight of cups twice and you really, really walking away and wrapping up cycles and shit with a karmic, yeah, you learned your lessons. I'll be, mm, I'm, I'm looking for the world. I'm not trying to call no cars because that's not what I do, but I feel that energy, that world energy is here. It's here. It just haven't been taken yet. That, that energy hasn't been possessed. Oh, the what? God damn it. Dog, it, sorry. <laughs> I'm feel, I, and I said I felt the world energy, and it's the first energy's out, but I'm, baby, I'm feeling it again. It's like a, it's, it, I feel it, I feel it again. I mean, maybe, it, uh, y yeah. This is not the masculine's first go around with this karmic. This is this is the second time he had to close this cycle out with this karmic. That's why he done done. Yeah. Yeah. This is not the first time that this masculine done ended it with this karmic here. But this time, done done. Okay? Done done. He tried it. He tried it again. Okay? But done, done. Now he know the truth about this karmic. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the um, Eight of Cups, please. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, that real energy. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, look, let me tell you something. He would never, ever deal with this karmic here ever in life. That karmic cycle has closed. It's, the lessons have been learned with this type of person here that this masculine was dealing with. Four of Wands here. Yeah, going back to something that's more solid and conducive to him. That's twin flame energy here, but see, this this woman and this child is by themselves. So he could have left the, the divine feminine to go to this karmic for a second time, and the shit didn't work out. So now he's wrapping back around to the divine feminine here, having to walk off or uh, walk away from this karmic here, emotionally walk away, and making me feel as though he didn't do it the first time. He didn't emotionally walk away from this karmic the first time. This is why he's back around for a second time to leave. Now them emotions is leaving. Okay. Now the emotions is leaving. It's making me feel as though this masculine was very, very um, physically attracted to this karmic. Yep. Look at here. Look at here. You have the page of, I mean, the king of pentacles, the king of pentacles, and the seven of wands here. Defensive energy. Okay, protective energy is here. This masculine is protective of his family, protective of his finances here. Okay, this masculine is, is protecting their finances because they know this karmic is coming after them monetarily. They coming after their money. Yeah, this karmic is this karmic is coming after this masculine's money because this karmic cannot um, get this masculine's love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All heartbroken and shit. Yep. Wanting a new opportunity, a fine. Ooh, oh, I heard a new financial opportunity with this masculine here. And they went around in another cycle, and it's the same old shit. Now this masculine has walked away emotionally and physically. It's a wrap for this karmic. Now this karmic is heartbroken and don't know what to do and feel backstabbed and betrayed because they're not getting anything from this masculine. No love, no money, no attention, no nothing. This masculine has blocked this karmic, okay? This masculine has energetically moved on from this karmic. This karmic cannot find where this masculine is at for some of them, okay? They're blocked from even finding out where this masculine is at. They're going crazy, trying to find them, asking friends and family and shit, have you seen or heard from them? Damn. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. The Two of Cups. 
Oh shit, we got more. Okay, we have the two of cups. <gasps> we have the two of cups. We have the star. And we have the ace of cups. Are you kidding me? Masculine. Baby. Your wishes are being granted. Because you got rid of this karmic. Now you can move forward, baby. Now you learned the lesson. You learned your karmatic lessons when it comes to love, baby. And you're being granted access to move forward in love. You, ooh, love is coming to you. You going back to, look, mature man. Is a that was a challenge to grow up mature. <laughs> that was the challenge. Yep, but nope, you here. You here. Yeah, yeah. here. We clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. This is the brand new opportunity that is coming to you. A brand new offer in love with your soulmate. Somebody you've been wishing, hoping, and praying for. Divine feminine. Shit. Damn. Go ahead with yourself. Look. Offers and opportunities are coming in. This is the Page of Pentacles. Doggone it. Okay. Uh, hey, this divine masculine grew the fuck up emotionally and spiritually. Hmm. Following your instincts here because you saw the signs. It says instincts are the message from the inner divine. Listening to your higher self, meditating and kubaya within yourself and stuff. Look at you, masculine. Follow the yellow brick road. It's being laid out for you by the Most High. Okay, let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Maybe somebody like the Wizard of Oz, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I don't know why that came out like that, but let's roll. <laughs> okay, what we have here? Look, the food come flopping out of the Ten of Wands. Yeah, putting down them burdens. Why? So you could have take a new leap of faith and love. You have a star out here twice. Yep. Yeah. You had a star out here twice, Divine Masculine. As soon as you finish with this karmic here, not only will your wishes to come true, but healing of the heart is here. This is why that rest and rejuvenation is here, baby. Go on with yourself, Divine Masculine. What else can you tell me? What's, what's this? <gasps> the Magician. Aries Pisces Energy. Aries here strong with this uh, uh, magician and fool. Ooh. Don't make no foolish mistakes. Oh, okay. I heard you, Spirit. Thank you. You putting down the burdens of making a foolish mistake. Double backing. Yeah, especially with this star sitting right here. Double backing. Going back to the to the original place of where you begin that mistake, which is with your divine feminine. Damn. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the star. Let's clarify the star. Okay? The Aquarian energy is here. Very attracted to... Yeah, you're very attracted to your feminine. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? Let's clarify the star. Let's clarify the star. Healing is here. For both of you guys, this karmic and this masculine here. Healing is here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the star, please. Thank you. Look, the King of Cups. See what I'm saying? This is love. This is self-love. This is how you was able to close this cycle out with this karmic divine masculine is because you discovered self-love. Yep, you sure did. And the king of sorts. Can't make this up. Yeah. Making head over heart decisions in order to what? Heal your heart. Get control of your emotions here. Because like I said, masculine, you walked away from this karmic emotionally this time around. Last time it was physical. You still had attachments to emotions and stuff with this karmic. And so you went back in another cycle, another karmic cycle with this karmic here. And booyah, now you're able to learn the lessons of love and walk away emotionally. Because you realize that this this, this cycle, this um, connection with this karmic is, is useless, is what I'm hearing. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the Page of Swords? Let's clarify the Page of Swords, please. Thank you. Look, the Hierophant. 
higher sense of self is here. Good news coming in from your higher sense of self because you're following your intuitions. Ooh, moon energy. Yes. Discovering secrets of self. Pisces energy, very emotional. Paying attention is what I heard. Hell yeah. I heard cutting through the clutter. With this king of swords and this moon energy cutting through the color clutter of bullshit. Cutting through the clutter of bullshit. Hmm. Damn. Control of emotions. Hidden feelings are here, okay? For some of you guys, this is a secret that you want to commit to your your feminine here. Yeah. That secret will be revealed. You will reveal this secret to this feminine here. Because I'm it, it's 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 the energy of yeah. When you learn the lessons of love, you learn and see this the divine feminine in you masculine. Is this is what you're discovering? This is how you're discovering love. Now, too, there is a uh, uh, if you're in the twin flame connection, I am talking about your divine feminine. But baby, this is coming together with the fem divine feminine in yourself. Your divine masculine and your divine feminine is finally on one accord within yourself. Divine masculine. This is how you get the chariot energy moving forward. Feminine, masculine. Light, dark, light side, shadow side, whatever you want to call it. But this is balance. It's, it's balanced movement forward because of self-discipline. This energy of the chariot is very, very disciplined. Especially sitting with this king of uh, swords energy with the king of cups. Yes. You're balancing out your heart and mind. Shit, heart, mind. You see what I'm saying? There's balance here within yourself. Because the divine feminine within yourself, divine masculine, is balanced here. Or is balancing now. Okay. All right. What is this? We had a two of swords flipping out. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it here. There's something else that you refuse to see about this connection here. Mm-hmm. Something that is not yet revealed to you because you don't have all the answers. So because you don't have all the answers as to this connection here, you still have to see. It still has to be revealed. Right. Hey, you got to pay attention to the signs here. This is your advice. This is more that you got to see. They're giving you signs as to what it is you need to do and how to do it. But you need to pay more attention to the signs. Be more spiritual. Grow up. A little bit spiritually or a little more spiritually here if you want to have the right answers as to the questions that you seek okay all right holy spirit holy angels let's clarify the knight of cups thank you these flipped out in reverse we have the lovers in reverse and we have the three of wands in reverse uh-huh this is um, Gemini energy here. Yeah, refusing to make a choice. Okay, I heard you. You made the choice. You made the choice not to go after something else that was out there. You okay? You're, you're not doing it. Whatever it was that you was expecting to come in or whatever it was that you were looking for, you made the choice not to go after it here. Why? Because you have new love coming in with this Nine of Cups. And you had a Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Temperance energy and the Hermit energy. Yeah. Yeah. Is a, yeah. Yeah. You know who you love. You know who you like. This is um, Taming the Beast is what I'm hearing. The Beast within yourself. Oh, Taming your Lust. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could be ta Taming your Lust here. Could be for this karmic because you're going to go towards love. So you have to tame the lust of the karmic in order to go towards love. Hmm. Yeah. Taming the lust of the karmic to go towards love. 
All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. That's a good, I mean, that's a good energy. You know, taming the lust. I mean, it's still there. I got an issue with that one. Why are you still lusting over this karmic? That is the tie that needs to be broken in order for you to be completely free from the energies of this karmic here. There's a lust here. This is why you had another cycle with this karmic. But there was no love here. Hence the reason why you closing out this cycle with this karmic because there is loveless. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify. Why is the shoot? Why is the um the lovers in reverse? Let's let's clarify that. Why is the lovers in reverse, please? Thank you. Because uh, the nine of cups. Then I said, <laughs> okay. Because you're going after new love. You're going after your dreams and wishes here, baby. Emotional. Okay, emotional fulfillment is here. This is why the lovers in reverse. Yeah, because you made a decision not to wait on this karmic or to expect anything from this karmatic connection that you have because you you're going after love wish fulfillment and the nine of cups and the, and the knight of cups is the ten of cups okay yeah baby mm-hmm yeah you you, you how telling it is what i'm hearing okay holy spirit holy angels let's clarify the eight of pentacles please let's clarify the eight of pentacles That's way too many. I'll take this, the Empress. This, okay, I'll take them. The Empress. The Knight of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. You high telling it. I can't I can't make this up. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine plus the um, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Page of Wands again. Yes. You're making it very known that you're going towards your, your feminine here. Yep. She uh, look the feminine always pop out in the divine masculine and karmic reading. Here you go again. This is like the third day in a row. <laughs> Libra Taurus energy here. Yeah, this this masculine is putting efforts into coming towards his divine feminine here. And with this Knight of Wands energy, I said hi telling because you have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands, baby. This is passion, okay? They are, <laughs> this master they could be telling this feminine, I'm coming. Get ready. Here I come. I don't care what you say. I'm here. Open the door. <laughs> Can you come outside? <laughs> that type of energy is here. Shit, he ain't going to even ask can he come. He just going to show up and shit. You're going to be happy with this temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. Kind of like a Wusa energy. Yup, yup, yup. With this uh, page of cups here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Want to come and apologize to you and make it right. And make it better with you. Yeah, with the six of swords energy, you want to move towards calmer waters with you. Yeah, putting down burdens and closing up cycles here. Look, you have the ten of wands, the world, and the death. Yeah. This masculine is so dumb with this karmic. Baby, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Divine feminine, if you're watching this reading right here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, please. Let's clarify the Three of Swords, please. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Can you pop it out, please, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you, my love. Because I'm a pull. <laughs> you know I'm a pull, Holy Spirit, and I don't want to do that. Not all the time, but when you take too long, I'll be on the pull. But you know, it's like, um, thank you. Whether I pull away from them, they don't care because they still going to get the message out. The Six of Swords is in reverse. Ooh. This karmic is bitter with the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this karmic is bitter. This karmic is not going to, um, and with the temperance energy, you ain't got no choice but to give up the fight, but this karmic is going to give hell before she do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because there's competition here. Conflict is here. Uh-huh. Six of swords in the reverse with the five of swords in the upright. Baby, this is somebody that want to fight. Somebody that's pissed the hell off because they heartbroken because they got left behind here. But all of that energy, it's, it's going to calm down. 
Okay, they kicking up noise and not dust. Okay? I wouldn't even worry about this karmic. You know, they pissed off and shit, talking shit. You know what I mean? Doing little petty shit. But there's no there's nothing that's gonna come from the efforts of this karmic because this karmic here is the, your contract is up. Okay? Your season with this masculine is up. Receive the information that the the signs that the, the most high is giving you, Karmic, because it's like you, your your efforts are fruitless. It's futile. There, there's nothing that's going to come from the efforts that you're going to initiate or the, 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 the conflicts that you're trying to bring towards this masculine because he left you behind and closed this cycle out. It's a done daughter. Okay? All right. This is what I have. So I'm going to leave it right here. For the divine masculine and karmic, you know. And, uh, yeah, so they still separating. They still going through it. They still have issues and things that they have to wrap up and feelings that they have to heal and things of the sort here. But, yeah, this divine masculine is done with this karmic. I heard have no use for her. So, okay. All right. This is all I have. So, come back. Uh, a little later on, I'll have another video for you guys, okay? Yeah, I'll do another Divine Masculine and Karmic reading a little later on today, and I'll upload that, um, I guess, this evening. I don't know how long, because YouTube, they take hours to upload a 30-minute video. I'm like, oh, damn, okay? I'll be thinking I'm supposed to be first in line and shit. <laughs> like, my video's still uploading. I just did this two hours ago. So, you know, anywho. I guess that's my spoiled ass. <laughs> Alright, so, anywho, that's all I have for you. Till next time, take care, and I'm going to stay smiling. Okay, bye.